Thanksgiving meal. We're starting with, this is just using leftovers, and the bottom is stuffing. And my stuffing that I used has got homemade cornbread and also a whole wheat rosemary bread that I crumbled up. And then this is our leftovers. So what we do is we put that at the bottom of a dish, and then we take about three to four cups of diced turkey that was left over from our Thanksgiving meal. And we put that in here. Layer it. And now we are going to take the recipe that I found for this casserole used mayonnaise or mayo. Mayo is high fat so instead, I'm using substituting yogurt, which is a lot more healthy for you. So I've got about a fourth of a cup of yogurt, a fourth of a cup of cranberry. And this is just the cranberry left over from a can. And I mix that together to make a sauce. And just another additive to give us some spice metabolism boost, I'm using my favorite, a tarragon. Tarragon has a sweet, nutty flavor, and I really like it. So I'm adding about, oh, two teaspoons that I've chopped up. Mix that real good. And this is just going to be a mixture placed on top of the turkey. So it's not a lot, but it just gives it a little bit of flavor. Just kind of coat it. There go. <clears throat> Maybe could have used a little bit more for this recipe. If you want a little bit more sweeter taste to it. And then the final stage would be to add potatoes, mashed potatoes on top. And we had no mashed potatoes left. So what I did is I had a box of scallop potatoes and this has not been cooked, I just mixed them. So I'm going to pour that on the top, layering my potatoes. And just kind of layer that here over the turkey, making sure everything's covered nicely. We're going to stick this in an oven at 350 degrees and cook it for about 45, 40 to 45 minutes. And the last few minutes, I'm going to add some cheese on top. Researchers at the University of Knoxville revealed that dietary calcium plays a pivotal role in the regulation of metabolism and reduces obesity. 
High calcium foods, notably dairy sources, have been shown to increase body fat breakdown and preserve metabolism during dieting, making them one of the younger, thinner you superfoods. That's because dairy foods contain dietary fat, which is a precursor to acetylcholin and high levels of calcium, which also help you get younger by building strong bones and may help to break down your stubborn belly fat. The study suggested eating three servings of dairy products a day to get the most benefit. However, foods that contain calcium in large quantities are high in fat as well as calories, making them prohibitive to eat on a weight loss regimen. There's also a high instance of cellulite producing effects from cheese and fat. Because of this, I find most people who are overweight cannot afford to increase their dairy consumption at all. Yet I want you to benefit from these new research findings. I figured out a way for you to get your calcium in the food you eat as well as the right quantities of good fats each day. On the Younger Thinner You diet, you'll be getting most of your calcium from plain, unsweetened, low-fat yogurt which has the necessary levels of this vital nutrients without tons of added calories. You'll learn more about the importance of yogurt in chapter 7. This is in the page 69 of the Younger Thinner You Diet by Eric R. Braverman. Here's a fun idea to help you remain motivated on your new diet. Herbs and spices. The difference is the herb is actually a plant growing. So look at the different stores you go to, garden places that may have some herbs growing. Mint is usually something that's available year round. Find a really pretty uh, hanging basket or just put on your counter. This is mint. Mint is a spice that improves your mood, acts as an antidepressant, and naturally increases your serotonin levels. And other spices that you might be able to find at your local, even grocery stores, is sage um, and also thyme. Sage is a spice that improves your memory and stimulates the production of acetylcholine. It's A-C-E-T-Y-L-C-H-O-L-I-N-E. -E. Also thyme is the same, helps you improve your memory. And these are available at your local garden places. What I have here is sage and thyme, which is something that I used a lot of, the spices I used a lot of for Thanksgiving cooking. Here's a great idea to add to our turkey casserole dish is we added some cilantro around the edges and I have broccoli, just raw broccoli. Broccoli is a superfood. It's one of the most nutrient dense vegetables and it has both a GABA and dopamine in it that helps stimulate the, those in your brain. And I also have tomatoes. And I found a really wonderful spice that I like. It's garlic and basil. And I love to sprinkle garlic and basil on top of my tomatoes. And then I have a bed of red lettuce. And then for a dressing, I use just a low-fat vanilla yogurt with tarragon. And the tarragon over is in the left side there. And I just add some chopped up some tarragon and mix it into my yogurt and it makes a delicious dressing. Thanks again for watching and happy eating! For the recipe on the rosemary whole wheat bread go to austintx.tv